So there's this scary, eerily scary technology that's out there. You may have heard of it. Essentially, it's like an AI chatting service where you can ask questions and it'll tell you everything that you need to know. It'll write you a story. It'll write you a song. It will give you IT support. It will write a policy and a procedure. It'll help you with the top 10 things you should be putting in place to secure your network and a lot more. Chat GBT. If you have not heard about it, you need to get onto this thing right now. Not right now, because you're gonna watch this video till the very end, but then afterwards, go and try it out. We're gonna show you what it is. My name's Emilio, I love technology, and I've got a tech channel right here. You gotta subscribe, you gotta do the like button as well if you do like this video. But outside of this little YouTube world, I also work in technology. And sometimes I need additional hands to do day-to-day -day support things. Sometimes I need policies written. This is where ChatGBT comes in. And if you work in tech, this thing is gonna be a game changer for you. An absolute game changer. Whether you're a, a tech, whether you're an IT leader of some sort, this thing is amazing. It knows like everything, everything that's everything. What is it that you ask? Essentially ChatGBT is an AI language model developed by this thing called OpenAI. And it's been trained on a diverse range of internet techs and uses deep, learning technologies to generate responses that are very, very human-like, scarily human-like. It's a bit scary because I remember watching The Terminator. I remember watching The Matrix and sort of going, huh, I wonder if there's a sense of reality to this AI thing. And it's a conversational AI. So you can actually go back and forth and ask it a whole bunch of stuff. What are some of the things that you could be using chat GBT for? Here's a few of my favorites. Technical support. You're a tech. You've got maybe people that you work with that are techs. Imagine if you could outsource your work. Well, in a way you sort of can. It will give you quick, accurate answers to common questions, reducing the workload of you and the team. Who doesn't love documentation? I sure don't. Writing the documentations can be frustrating. So you can actually write and generate technical documentation for you. It can write tutorials for you of all types of content. You can actually get it integrated really, really well into apps, into your website, if you've got like an intranet, that sort of thing, and actually set up like a chatbot, like a chatbot or a virtual assistant, provide customer support technical support. Do you do any sort of coding, anything like that? So you can automate your testing. You can ensure that the quality of your processes, things like your code, if you're doing coding, if you're doing any uh, automation, and if you're doing any algorithms, if you're writing scripts, why don't you get it to validate it, to give you some tips, give you some pointers. And if you're somebody who has to do any sort of reporting, you have to like go and generate reports or updates on how things are going, get it to do it for you. Let's show you what you can do. Opening up our Google machine, we're going to type in chat GPT and here it is optimizing language models for dialogue and we're going to say try it so whatever your role in technology is you could use this to really benefit you to benefit everybody else that you work with to benefit staff that you do support and help with from an IT perspective what is an IP address okay you can ask it a simple question it gives you a little bit of a summary now of course you can go into the Google machine and search for this information but this has been uniquely written as we speak defined in a way for you to understand by this AI how do I set an IP on a Mac? Follow the steps, step by step. Think about how powerful this could be. You give this to a user, a user who's just troubling you and asking you all these same questions over and over again. Hey, go and try this. Or you can embed it in a, maybe a company internet or something like this. It relieves a lot of the day-to-day -day tedious tasks that most IT people don't have to deal with. I am getting a blue screen of death. And now it's gonna give me some steps right here. You can try to restart your computer. Look at this, check for recent hardware software changes. It's incredible. Now on top of asking it some basic technical questions, you can actually get it to write stuff for you. Help me to write a disaster recovery plan. Let's see what it's gonna come up with right here. Disaster recovery plan, of course, a document uh, that you're gonna need in every single company in the event that everything goes pear-shaped. Here's the basic outlines. So these, are the thing, these are the things that you should be including. I'm gonna tell you that define the scope, assess the risks, develop business impacts. So these are the basic outline steps in your disaster recovery plan. So let's dive in a little bit further and see uh, what we can do. Please expand more on point two. This is about the assess of the risks. 
Okay, so now it's gonna go into a lot more detail about point two. It's writing the report for you and you can go step by step, get the information that you need, stick it into a report. And maybe of course you can go and tweak it. Now you may be asking yourself, is this plagiarism? Can I just go and copy and paste this text? It's not like it's copying this from a different location. The next time you ask the questions, it's gonna ask, it's gonna respond slightly differently. The same way as if you go and you get yourself a, con a contractor in, a consultant in to help you do some work in your IT field, well, you're just not doing that. You're not getting a real life person. You're just using the computer and AI system to do this for you. So I think it's great. What if you want to do some scripts? People love automation, especially people in technology. They want to make things easier. I'm going to try this one here. Write me a script in VB that automatically checks Windows patching status on my server each day at 3 p.m. Let's see how good this actually works. Let's maybe instead of VB, let's do it in PowerShell. Hotfix, equivalent to that. Okay, so it's going very, very specific right here. It's not only just created the script, but it's told me what that script does, what its purpose is. But there's one perfect example of what, how you can automate this uh, thing in your place of work. What are some typical interview questions for a network engineer? Here are some common interview questions. What inspired you to pursue a career in network engineering? Can you describe OSPF and BGP? Hey, that's a good one. Handle network security and threats. How do you do that? I want to now get very specific and I want it to now answer me these questions. Because a lot of people, they want to know the questions, but then how do you actually answer it? Here we go. I have several years of experience in network design, implementation, and troubleshooting. I have designed and implemented several large scale networks, both LAN and WAN, using etc., etc., etc. And on and on it goes. I am going to be talking to my CTO today and want to convince them to give me a raise. When speaking to your CTO about a raise, it's important to be clear, concise, and professional. Here are some suggestions. Highlight your accomplishments, your contributions to the company. Provide specific examples of how your role has evolved. Explain that you believe your work has been valuable. I think most tech geeks uh, are going to be into Star Wars, and they've probably watched the IT crowd. Write me a song in the theme of Star Wars and the TV show, The IT Crowd. In a galaxy far, far away, we battle rage every day. With lightsabers and blasters, our heroes win the day. But in a corner office where wires run like a maze, our IT guys sit and work. They're the unsung heroes of the base. Yes, great. They're the tech support of the rebellion, the network gurus of the force. They keep our systems running. They're the ones who keep us on course. They fix our glitches and our bugs. They keep our data secure. They're the IT crowd of the galaxy, the tech wizards of the future. Seriously, how cool is this? For something that I just made up on the fly, could be a little bit better, and I could just say, make it a little bit better. Some bits were confusing, and it'll go and do it. Chat GPT. I mean, you need to be using it. If you're not using it, there'll be other people, other teams, other techs out there using it. Promise me that you'll do three things. The first thing, this is a tech channel, so you've got to subscribe, click on the button on the bell. The second thing, go and try this chat software yourself. And number three, comment, let us know what you're thinking about doing. Let us know what you're thinking about using ChatGBT for. My name's Emilio, we talk about tech, so stay tuned for that next video. We'll see you next time.